still an important virus. Government officials report the virus is not airborne, but can be transferred through contact with blood and other bodily fluids. The virus seems to be making people uncontrollably violent, and also somehow seems to be reanimating the dead. When asked, a White House spokesman declined to comment on whether or not this was a terrorist attack. What this fool? Due to the violent nature of the ones infected, the virus is spreading rapidly. Yo. What's good, bro? Shoot, nothing just about to take a nap, probably. I'm, I'm tired as hell. A nap? We were supposed to shoot today. I know. We, we ain't got to shoot till three. Bro, you just worry about working the camera properly because every shoot is something. Why are you always bringing up old stuff? Bro. We can't never just keep it on time. Bro, I got to bring up old stuff because it's saving us from the new stuff, from you messing up the new stuff. All right, all right, man, all right, man. Well, just, I'm going to call you when I'm on the way. All right, pull up and, like, give me, like, an hour, man. I'm tired. I'm going to give you an hour and a half because you know how you get. Perfect. All right, then, bro. All right, love you. Peace. Excuse me, can I take y'all a picture? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You'll excuse the fact that I'm out of breath, but about 10 or 15 minutes ago, a tragic thing from all indications at this point has happened in the city of Dallas. Let me quote to you this. And I'll, you'll excuse me if I am out of breath. A bulletin, this is from the United Press from Dallas. President Kennedy and Governor John Colony have been cut down by assassin's bullets in downtown Dallas. They were riding in an open automobile when the shots were fired. The president, his limp body carried in the arms of his wife, Jacqueline, has rushed to Parkland Hospital. Uh, and if you'll excuse me if I give some directions and we talk about what we're going to do here for the next few minutes, but Bobby, let's tape this, if you please, particularly the interview with the eyewitness people. Don't 
mind them, Ruby. Keep walking. Get back here, son. This is your teacher, Mrs. Henry. Well, hello, Ruby Nell. It's so nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, too, Mrs. Ruby. <laughs> I got the tape. Now, this is going to be very essential in the future. Guys may be dead, but it's okay. If you bring up this dead That's one more time, I'm you're not going to have supper. Okay. Thank okay. you. Really appreciate it. Where are you from? London or something? Uh, yeah, Newcastle. Okay. All right. Can you yeah tighten it, and then I'm going to okay. tape it. There we go. It's a uh, sticky fella, right? Sticky, yeah. I'm gonna do it one more time. So you have a fresh fade, it looks like. And nowadays the generation, I guess the barb, so for your fade, you use like knives? Yes. Like wow. A blade. Wow, that's really cool. Well, yeah. You do you up? I can't... Oh, no, 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 no. Um, but you do have a fresh fade. And I was just gonna say a lot of barbers don't clean their clippers. So a lot of dudes be having bumps on their neck. Your neck is really nice. He's his own barber. Hmm? He's his own barber. You fade yourself? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes I do it in weekends. You fade him? Sure. Dang. Is that a problem? Oh, no, no, it's not. No, 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 no. It looks really good. That's what I'm saying. It looks really good. <laughs> These people funny. <laughs> I would say that about you, too. Oh. oh. Same pose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that seriousness. Like, you just left the Revolutionary War. Keep it serious. Did you participate in the war? No. Oh, you got lucky. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Margaret, can I get you away, please? Step aside. Step aside. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I see you looking at your wife, sir. Yes. She is a lovely woman. Excuse me. Uh, no, no, no. She's a lovely. She's. I mean, she's a. She's a lovely woman. That's all that I meant by that. I didn't know what the conversation was about. Coronavirus. Yeah. What are your mask at, man? I was gonna put it on. I'm safe. I'm safe. I don't have it. I just got tested. I just got tested yesterday. Okay. It's coronavirus. Coronavirus is a pretty deadly, lethal virus that is spread by breath and hey, by I touch. Stay, stay Walk away. away. Walk, get away. Excuse me. Stay away from him. Excuse me, sir. Can you go shoot? Okay, I'll shoot. I'll shoot. No, I'm good, sir. So, we have hospitals. I know a lot of, like, y'all people be dying from, like, cavities and stuff, so I know you don't understand. There you go. Yeah. yeah I just got to make sure you're looking right, dog. My dog. You're my, yeah, my dog. Like a little puppy. Basically, it's a slang word for my buddy, my friend. Okay, I'll take the picture. I made this dress myself. Did you? Yes, you did. I sure did. And what do you do, Mr. Uh, Mortithius? I'm a writer. A writer? Yes. Okay. So, Another weird I, want, I want you to know that Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry for touching your wife. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank so you. we're gonna beat you up, bro. I'm sorry, more tedious. I'm sorry, bro. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, yes. So before I take some more shots of you guys, I want. Oh, touch his wife again. Are you okay, babe? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. This, this is the last time. This, this is, is for the picture. This will be was... the very last time that you touch me. No, oh, it's for the picture. Thank you. Okay, so right now it's a big moment because I think. You guys are a part of a big video. Thank you, faithful subscribers, for watching. <laughs> On YouTube. On YouTube. Thank you so much. This is so cool. I can't wait to be famous. All right, we're going to take some more pictures.
Margaret Mortithius, thank you guys for allowing me to take pictures of you. It was a pleasure, Margaret. The porridge was phenomenal. Great. I love that little tangy spice you threw in there. But anyways, I'm going to head back to 2020. Um, I'll see you guys in the... Well, yeah, I probably won't see either one of you because y'all both going to be dead. But um, you guys enjoy. All right. <laughs> Drives down the lane. Beautiful pass to the big man underneath. Puts it up off the glass and it's in for two. What's going on, y'all? I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoy creating this project. I feel like this is something that I plan to do moving forward. Creating stories, putting my images on top of stories. I want to thank everybody who was a part of this i'm just happy that you guys took it as serious as i did everybody was 100 percent committed um, and and i appreciate that being that it was a time period piece of course in the backgrounds of certain video you know of course you see that it's not 1960 but we made it work with what we had and you know when the budget gets a little bigger in the future which i know it will I already know we'll have you know prop cars paid for on the curb instead of Lexuses and, and Range Rovers but it's all good y'all got the message and that's all I was really worried about is you guys getting the message if you aren't familiar with all of these stories I would encourage you guys to do some research and um, look up these people I know most of you know who John F Kennedy and, and, and Jackie Kennedy are uh, but Ruby Bridges was a very special one to me because she was the first African-American kid to go to an all-white school in the 1960s. And it was a it was a big deal. It was a very big deal. I personally didn't know about her until like a year ago or two years ago. But this was something that I really wanted to do. I thank everybody. Uh, my girl Alex, who, you know, made the armbands. My homie Julian. He lost, he, he found a way to mess up, but he pulled through in the colonials. I can't forget the colonials. So this was an idea, honestly, that I got from watching Django. And I was like, I wanna put black people in royalty um, in like the colonial outfits and the colonial style. But I, instead of a story, I was like, I wanna do it vlog style so we can add some humor to it. So we can, you know, add my flavor to it. And, you know, being that this was directed by me, I do plan to direct films and movies one day getting my feet wet right now we took the pentax 67 and the leica m10 monochrome for me rangefinder is a bit hard i'm still working towards it i used the, the leica m10 monochrome to test shoot the ruby bridges shots i did take some portraits of her and i love the way that camera looks my first digital experience was with the leica m10 monochrome so I can say I definitely want one of those bad boys. 100%. I plan to get one shot from all of these shots printed. So I will have three huge prints and I will definitely be making a video on that from start to finish. Last but not least, I want to give a shout out to Icon Los Angeles for doing such an amazing job with contact sheets and scanning. I did not want to use my Epson V600 and scan myself. So I took all of these to the lab and they killed it. I got my first drum scan ever and I got a lot of Emicon scans. So if you guys are wondering, yes, the John F. Kennedy photo, the final photo from the back of them waving, that is a drum scan. And it was hard, man, I ain't even gonna lie. It was hard forking up $100 for that photo to be drum scanned, but it's gonna take over my whole living room wall. So I had to do it the right way. I hope y'all are with your families, enjoying the holiday. Happy holidays to all of you. Thank you guys for being such loyal uh, subscribers and, and tuning in every week. Please send this video to your family and friends if you think it's something inspiring or something that you connect to. Like the video if you rocked with it. Comment below if this is something you want to see more, what you thought about the photos. And this is something that I really cherish. So I would really love all of your feedback down in the comments below. Thank you so much. I'll see y'all next week. Happy holidays.